Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn new series of HTML. So we'll be starting off from the basic. Before getting started with the basic of HTML, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe and hit on the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video, you will get a notification on it. Do follow me on my Instagram page as well. Let's get started. First, let me open my notepad. So in this video, we are going to cover a little bit of theory about what is HTML and then we'll see how to run this code, learn the latest version and uh, we'll be learning different tags, forms, attributes, everything. We'll be covering everything. So in this video, we'll see more about what is HTML, why we need HTML, all this stuff. So the first thing that we are going to cover would be the basic that everyone wants to know so even if you are from the non-it background html is quite familiar everywhere the first thing would be what is html so what is html so basically the abbreviation of html is hypertext markup language so when they tell markup language which is like organizing of the structure for a website. So basically HTML is used to give a structure for a web page. When I tell structure, what does this mean? So let's have an example of it. Let's go to amazon.com. Amazon.com. When you come to amazon.com, you can see something which is organized format, right? There are tabs here like buttons, logo here and you have the address when the user is logged in here then you have the cart here you can see here few items been uh, displayed here all these are in a cart and, uh, which means four item is being displayed and this is a way of structuring shop and this is what the html is doing so you take any website or any, any web page let's take facebook.com when you take facebook.com all these are written in html maybe this is an image this has been written in html so when you see the facebook.com the first page itself it is giving one input field email or phone number password and you have one button here then you have one anchor tag and you have another button so all these are html thing this is the way that uh, facebook needs wants the structure to be they have designed in this format but when you take amazon amazon have designed in this format but everything is done with the help of html guys so html is a base for any web pages or any websites one thing i want to make clear difference between web page and website let's take an example of amazon itself let's have a difference between what is web page and website so this amazon.com is a website okay website which consists of many web pages when i tell what is web page when you click on today's deal you can see it's going to another page so this is a web page guys so website which consists of two or more web pages so i hope you're clear with what is website and web page so this is one web page when you click on mobiles it's directing to mobile phones and this is one of the web page again when you click on this samsung it will direct to another web page which will have the url of samsung branch store so when you take amazon amazon consists of many web pages so it has many things guys so when you come here also for each each model when, when it comes to samsung you have smartphone you have laptops you have earbuds you have more of accessories and everything so each will have the different web pages combining all these web pages we get a website so i, I hope this was a clear so let's move into our html thing we know now what is html next would be why we need html this is the next question as we all discussed that html is a base for any website this is the base guys so for example when we want to construct an house we don't directly go and construct we don't directly purchase the bricks and all those sand cement required things and we don't start building right first we design we give to an architect we design that this is the way i want my house to look has to be something organized i want this thing here i want the kitchen there i want this part of one room to be designed in this way so that is a kind of thing we do when we want to construct an house right so similar way when we want to construct a website so imagine that you are going to build a website when you are not organized when you don't know what to place where will you do that to organize one web page according to the requirement we organize a web page it comes to website development to organize first to give the base for some web page we use html amazon thought that they want in this format so that they have organized 
in this format whenever you want to construct something you put on your ideas like this thing has to be there that's your kind of thinking and organizing similar way the websites also has to be organized so that is why we use html we want the website to be organized so we use html and without html cannot build any website let's get into the next question which is how html works how to execute html two things are required for this one is the editor other thing is browser first what you have to do is i'm going to create a page on desktop itself click on new folder i'm going to name this as youtube html so this is my folder name i'm going to right click on it you can use any kind of editor i'll just mention it here first is notepad you have notepad is basic and you have notepad plus plus and what else you have uh, vs code you have sublime i am going to use here vs code itself because i have vs code installed in my machine if you don't have vs code you can use notepad then to execute this how to execute html file using internet explorer or you have chrome or firefox firefox or you can have safari as well html is executed using browser here i have one folder with an empty thing so i am going to right click and open with vs code editor if you don't have vs code you can go with notepad i have my folder here i am going to create one index.html how to execute that file html has to be saved with dot extension okay so when you save it with dot html extension we'll know that it has to open with the browser itself so just right click i mean double click on it see you have created your folder here and this is your file in h5 tag i'll type welcome to neha codes we'll be learning about tags and the structure also we'll be learning guys in the next video let me reload this you can see welcome to sneha code so if you want to make it little bit let's keep four here this is a web page we have given a text in an h4 tag come to sneha code you can do many things guys align it to the center center cut the center and paste it here back and reload so you can see it's aligned we'll be learning about each tags in the upcoming videos i hope this video was helpful and if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section like share and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching